Please, Jesus. Thompson submachine guns. One of these can finish off an entire platoon in the time it takes to fry an egg. Fifty rounds per magazine, forty-five caliber. They called it a trench broom. You can see why. A few thousand of these, and we'd blaze a path to Buckingham Palace. It's an epic shootout between two deadly weapons: the rapid-fire Thompson submachine gun and the single-shot AR-15 assault rifle, which has a higher kill rate. This is Penn and Teller, Cal Alive. What if zombies were real, and there were five coming at you, and they were naked and looked like gender-confused mannequins, and you were barricaded in a gun shop in a state with no gun laws at all? They were going to get you in about 10 seconds. You've got a Thompson submachine gun that shoots 14 rounds per second, and you have a single-shot automatic AR-15. Which should you pick? Machine guns have awesome destructive firepower especially when everything is in super slow motion. I'm glad I don't have to clean that up. Or that. Or that. The Thompson submachine gun, popularized in 1930s gangster movies, you trigger, happy bum. was adopted by U.S. paratroopers in World War II because of its high rate of fire. It shoots a 45 caliber round at the rate of 14 shots per second, with a muzzle velocity of 935 feet per second. To see exactly what it can dish out, we got Bill Davis. Fire in the hole! A 20-year police veteran and weapons specialist. He shot a samurai sword for us in an earlier episode. We're out at the shooting. I can make them stop if you'd like. <laughs> We're out at the shooting range today to demonstrate the difference between spray and pray submachine gun fire and rifle fire. For our shooting range, we built an 8 by 30 foot wall and covered it with balloons because we hate them. Then in front of them, we placed Bill's targets. Five gender-confused zombie-like mannequins. We've taped spray paint cans on each mannequin zombie's head and heart area, so we'll see a big splatter if Bill scores a kill shot. Bill will stand 100 feet away and have a 10-second time limit with a machine gun to kill as many of the a feet undead as possible. He'll use the technique the machine guns were developed for, a sweeping back-and-forth motion meant to cover a large area. It's known as spray and pray. Russian General Mikhail Kalashnikov suspected that most soldiers in battle were too scared to aim properly. So he designed the AK-47, the most popular machine gun in the world, so that soldiers could utilize spray and pray tactics in combat. So in theory, anyone can spray and pray. Let's see it in action. Fire all! Oh! Ooh, I think he hit one. Bill, get out of the way. Bill! 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 Thank you. Out of 50 bullets, he only scored one kill shot. 50 is all this machine gun can fire before running out of ammo. Oh. Whew. Well, I got them all off. Let's go check it out. This guy here, we got one, two, three. Yeah, that's my kill shot there. And he barely grazed the others. One peripheral hit, it's not even good for an artery. So how is it possible to get one direct hit out of 50 shots? The answer is recoil. The recoil and the muzzle lift together will make this gun have a tendency to rise and jump off the target. Depending on strength and skill of the shooter, the Tommy gun's barrel will jump at least a third of an inch each time a bullet is fired. Look, there's the jump. I'm sure glad we run that snazzy, super slow-mo camera. And since there are 14 jumps per second, the Tommy gun almost has to fail. Because at 100 feet, just one third of an inch of lift can throw a shot off target by a foot. Now, for comparison, 
Bill's gonna shoot identical targets with an AR-15 semi-automatic assault rifle. Now, unlike the Thompson submachine gun, this is a semi-automatic, not a fully automatic weapon, meaning that every time you want it to fire, you have to pull the trigger. Pull the trigger once, it fires once. He'll have the same 10-second time limit that he had with a machine gun, see how many of these fuzzy, slippered ghouls he can kill with single shots. Will he do better than with a machine gun? Ready? Fire! Boom! 11 bullets in 10 seconds and a 100% kill ratio. The steady aimed rifle shots mean five times the kills. Machine guns, as we've seen, have a lot of firepower, but they're not the most accurate weapon to choose. So if you only have seconds, reach for a rifle.